get back into the game as we already have it. The Madhouse against Madhouse, basically. All those players playing so well. You can see Deep Stereo is gonna pull off called Zero here. Hopefully, pulling off called Zero. Now the Molotov will be deployed as the rest of the players commence. Figly with one Deep Stereo with one. Figly with one more. Figly going for the next one. Switch out five seven. He's gonna get the frag. And it's going to be Axis in the end to finish everyone off. 9 2 in favor of Suburbia. Suburbia. Fantastic surprise, actually, that they are doing this well against a team that you can't predict anything. But they're playing this one so smart. And you see the push going through. And now Deep Stereo, and actually not too big of a problem. He's fine by now. And here, Deep Stereo almost getting fragged. Tagging out for a down. Now the push going through. Axis with one kill. With one more. Axis might go for the third one, but won't find it. As now we'll see the push we begin to go towards um, B, as it seems, where the players are roaming all around. Let's find what they need. Find Figly with the kill onto Crystal. So only two players left. Outwork with Espikia. You can see it's gonna be actually deep stereo, the reaction on that guy. Holy smokes. Crystal, not Crystal's outwork here with the frag. Gonna go one against three. He can do this one. M is here actually using this slash so well and winning the round for his team. 10 12. This one could go pretty instantly. As we see, uh, Deep Stereo will still stay with the op, Chigantan will stay with AKs. As you can see, the action in middle, Ox is gonna be the one in middle. And here, the Madhouse going through middle. Chigantan, they have the, the, they're always going basically all together, but Outwork will get overwhelmed by Figly. Figly with the spray is gonna get only two, but that's more than enough to win the round as it is. Let me just check if they're gonna go through here. SPK getting tagged down now. Deep stereo. Stereo. Gonna go behind the enemy lines. And SPK of course check it almost they're getting the flick, tagging the guy in the leg. And that was just mad flicks, bro. As now we can see Suburbia Rebox moving through to the death hole and now going for more. You won't check the left corner as there is crystals, probably have the information, at least something. But it's gonna wait one minute left. They're gonna decide to peek out. This could be interesting. They're gonna decide to peek out. People won't see him and he'll lose the duel. Axis with M is the only two players left. I'm gonna go towards middle axis as it seems. It's now freaky with really little HP. He's gonna check. And get something done. SPK is gonna get dropped down. The bomb will be picked up. The Molotov will come through and Freaky jumping over it, avoiding it. From the back lines, Emis didn't see anything. And now Emis, he has the, the top. And he's gonna get one. He's gonna go for the spray on the other. He's gonna get 11 12. This 11 2 the score. As you can see here, Deep Stereo still with the AWP, almost leading the scoreline. Figly has gone mad with 17 kills, but you can see Stereo with 7 assists. So the flicks on that guy are just unreal. I don't know, real, because he's just tagging them. See the push into underground. Axis will hear it. Now begin. They're gonna go in. Into connector. And he doesn't have information. He's gonna go down. A very late turn from him. Gonna be deep stereo even falling, and now the madhouse will commence. Figly in the back line still looking for the frag. Rebox waiting, he shouldn't go out there. Gonna deny the bomb plant now from the back line. Just looking for the frag. It's gonna be Rebox almost getting it. Five bullets left for him, and that won't be enough to get the kills. It's gonna be Figly now moving in from the back lines, trying to take down as much as he can. But there's gonna be one guy from back lines that he doesn't know about. But he's gonna get the kill now from the back lines. Freaky with the kill 11 3. We scored the last round of the first half.
Now Double Ops sets up an even an outsaw sniper on the side of Suburbia in the last round. We're gonna see how he uses that one. We're gonna go towards the middle. No action there just yet. There's actually Husky here, not Husky. M, M is waiting. Looking for the frags. Rebox with Deep Stereo in the middle with the op. Two players are there. The maids will come through. Nothing to see but Deep Stereo with the flick. He's showing what he can do. And now the action axis with the team kill. Well, that's so unfortunate. Let's see, M is now moving through. What can they do? It looks like they're gonna go towards uh, A as it seems. And here, M is with the spray, he'll die to it. And Rebox now with the Molotov looking to get the frag. He's gonna almost get the flick, really close one. And you can see Axis here with the auto sniper. He did the team kill, he's gonna get the kill through the wall onto Uger. It's gonna be last two players left, both in A side. One in connector, one near there. Quickly is gonna get taken down. Now moving through, it's gonna be Axis gonna get the kill. And now Freaky, one against two. Axis will burn down, he's gonna get the kill. And now Freaky against Rebox. Rebox with the AWP. Yeah, freaky with the AK, the bomb will be planted. It's a lot of players to move through. And reboxing, you see already from the back lines, he's gonna win the duel! Holy smokes. And that's going to be the first half ended. 12-3 in favor of Suburbia. Let's see if Chiyang Clan can bring this one back on their CT side. As it should be possible. Most definitely. We're gonna wait for that. Game should begin shortly as we can see already the countdown has begun and it will be the score 12 3 and let's see if Superbia can win their first opening round as they did win their opening pistol round and now let's go and check how they managed to play this one it's going to be freaky waiting with p250 here near t ramp Checking at least T ramp and the aggression in the middle by outwork and crystals won't find anything. Hopefully, Deep Stereo can make enough noise for Suburbia to move into the site. It's gonna be outwork here looking for a frag, it's gonna get the frag onto Axis. And now the rest, Freaky is gonna wait. It's gonna be actually Rebox is gonna hide behind the wall to get what he needs to do. Deep Stereo from the back line is gonna look for the kill on one. I'm gonna go for the second. Uger is here, Uger will fall as well. Deep Stereo is mad. 16 kills for him, Bigly with one more, now from the back line, Deep Stereo turning around, 180 degrees, not getting the kill, 2 against 2 situation, CZ in hands, 10 bullets, and he's gonna get the kill, it's gonna be 13-3 on the score. And things are just trying to just get out of the hand for Chigan Clan, they have to get back at this one, and they really wanna win them, so they, they have secured, they have secured the top spot I think in the groups, or maybe now even not. But they're definitely gonna get out of the playoffs, to the playoffs. And that should be a big enough achievement for them as it is. And the SPK fully flashed, missing the jump. And now the push by Suburbia. It's gonna be first kill going away. And now the rest, is, they're gonna just fall. And now it's all up to Crystal's Uger and Freaky to rotate. Freaky with Scout. He will hear Emis, but Emis with the aim punch is gonna win the duel. And now Ugers from the short. We're gonna see Rebox, Rebox will kill him off, and now Crystals will fall as well, which will mean it's gonna be 14 to 3. As we can see, and now two more rounds for Suburbia, and they win Shigan Clan, the undefeated team with convincing sense. And there was a jump boost for Ems, you can see he's gonna get out pretty fast. 
Gonna look for the frags. Full flash for him. Crystal is gonna get the frag. He's gonna be aimless to fall. Although, no, he, he can't get the shot in. And now Reebok jumping up and down. He's gonna get the kill on the one. And now the next. Reebok with Axis opening up the side. Now Crystal is gonna get taken down as well. Outwork left with SPK. SPK already from the side. On the other side. And now Outwork is gonna get the frag. And now Axis to clutch. For the clutch, but gonna be SPK with the kill. 14 4 will be the score. As you can see, not too shabby winning the first buy round. It wasn't a complete buy round for them. It looks they have no, it was a buy round for them. It's something. Now we are going to see the push through. There's going to be aggression from Superbia in middle. Not doing too much at the moment. It will take time. And see Uger with the frag. Taking down Deep Stereo, one of the top fraggers of their team. Emis, of course, with the answer. Gonna get the frag. Why wouldn't he? It's gonna be Figly. Let's see the lurker. And now gonna back off. Information is given. Figly with full flash. Now he's gonna get off the stairs. We're gonna look for the kill onto Outwork. Outwork still waiting. Not seeing Uger with a kill. And now just a waiting game. Who's gonna peek first? Who's gonna give away his positioning? Gonna do what? And it's gonna be outwork not getting the kill. Figly, the master. And it's this going to be only Uger with SPK left? Uger tagging the player. Reba is gonna kill him off, and it's going to be SPK for the clutch. Uger was dropped down pretty low, and now the push through. We move through. Gonna be your SPK. What the hell was that flick? And moving through, and from the back lines, Figly. So before the master, 15-4 will be the score. And now this might be the last round. We'll see if that will be the deal. In middle, the action of players pushing aggressively towards B apartments. No one's there. It's gonna be Uger here. He's gonna see Figly. You can see everyone. The, the grenade won't do any damage. Very interesting grenade. Made out of plastic or something. And deep stereo can't find a kill. Outwork can. It's gonna be Crystals with one more. Now from the back lines, Figly did hear the guy. Now from the middle, is getting tagged in and hit a fall. And the only Axis with M is left. Both in A, one in Palace, one in T-Ramp. Now pushing back through the T-Spawn. They will be heard and they will be checked all the time. You can see Outwork here with a great angle. Another side, SPK waiting for the peak if needed for the trade basically. Axis with Emis, what can they do? The smoke will commence through. I'm gonna wait for the spray. Now they're gonna move through. M is getting tapped. Axe is getting killed off. M is one against five. Well, show me what you got, basically. What can he do? We see SPK. But SPK almost will take him down. 10 HP left on M is, and now in front is going to be Crystal waiting for him. 30 seconds left. One against four. The flash coming through. Will flash fully. Actually, the player Crystal. Going through middle and they're taking down from the back 15 5. Their money situation they cannot buy. Only figure they can buy, but you can see they're gonna at least force it up somehow to get what they need and maybe win the round and close this one here. Let's see, Figly still with 27 kills. Will there be a 30 bomb? The area won't get the initial shot there. Looking for the second, won't find it. Molotov's coming through as well, forcing the players away. 
Now you can see everyone from Superbia waiting around A. See here, Rubox with one more smoke. Now everyone will run in. And then it'll be Crystal going down one. And now the rest is just up to question how long can Deep Stereo live against the sword? He will die. And it's going to be 15 6. Crystals won't get the opening, the bomb is going to be a fake. Nice the rush will commence towards B. And the bomb will be planted in A. They need the money. Now I can see it's going to be one burning down. The next one taken down. And everyone will just rotate. Remember, the back line's bomb won't be taken down, so the plant will happen. At least the money for the players will be there. Now the grenade coming through. Axis with P250 has to survive. Looking for the kill, Uger, easy kill for him, and the defuse coming in as well, 15-7. This game is getting closer and closer by the time, so let's see if Chicken Clan can play this one tie. It'll still be a pretty big deal, but a big upset for Suburbia, as they could have closed this one uh, earlier. And then see Crystal is gonna be the guy with the op in a sense once again you see it's gonna be evaded no one's gonna catch on to that one and from the back lines Uger already well, with the aggression you can see middle here three players just waiting around and now the push in middle okay, jumping up and down crystal almost getting the flick in won't get the no scope as if for now the rest players from Superbia still waiting in Crystal. What the hell was that flick? That was crazy. As now I can see it's gonna be 5 against 4 situation. SPK with the kill onto Axis. Now just basically just wait until the rest happens. There's still SPK waiting for Deep Stereo to push through. Deep Stereo only 16 HP, so probably gotta get the kill pretty soon. Let's see now. Already rotating back, Emis gonna go actually to T ramp. Interesting choice. Has to do it pretty fast, so SPK could rotate, and they would take the site easily. Now moving in, but SPK is there. He's gonna check the upper. He's gonna see the weapon. He's gonna get the kill. One HP left. Not gonna get the kill even, but they might not even plant the bomb as the kill will be there. Now the question: How long can Reebok stay here in this site? He's gonna be one more kill going away. Of Chigan Clan is gonna be 15 8. Finley hasn't gotten the kill until the 27, so only he basically for them to win, he needs to get the 30 bomb. I'm just saying, you know. Outwork with a crazy push is gonna be behind the players. It's going to be more than good for him. You can see everyone that the spray is there. Grenade will come through as well. Emis will fall. And last one to be alive. Rebox 15 9. Now there will be money for the buy on the side of Suburbia. Can they do this one? There is no OT senses. Double up setup for the side of Chigan clan and the middle could be interesting. Outwork won't see anything, the smoke is there. Players safely take the middle. The Uger is going to rotate closer, just a bit closer. I'm gonna see here deep stereo. How can he see so fast? As now Gonna be minus one for the T's. And now right now with the grenades, just damaging Rebox as much as he can. Now moving through, 
as you can see Autorex is going to wait here with the op on the short there's already rotating axis we'll see Uger Uger will get taken down so now it's pretty good and it's going to be Espik here with the kill as well and from the back lines Emis he just has to see the head of the player Outward. what the hell was that flick almost getting the kill See Emis now with Rebox to push. See now Crystals with the kill and now Emis, like Emis will get the frag on him. And now the back lines. He didn't hear the guy behind him. He's gonna go into the side. I'm gonna get not even one. He's gonna get taken down. It's gonna be 15-10. Only one off this time on the side of Chigan Clan, other side all AKs. Well, let's just see how this one will finish. Hopefully finish. And we just the one team wins because one team is tend to win. Should win this one because this is a battle of just a light time, the biggest battle of the tournament. We saw Emis dropping down to 8 HP by Uger who isn't blind, he can see through smoke. The players are getting ready to push into A. As we can see, Ruger and Crystal is just waiting and freaky and roaming around, switching positions time to time. And now the push. Crystal smoked off completely. Now the push in. Uger with one. Uger with two. Uger going for three. Checking for the fourth. He's gonna get the fourth. It's gonna be 15-1. And the screams, the other room, are just remarkable. Still only one up, but they're good with it. They're fine. And now the rush, the rush towards middle. Outwork will be there. He's gonna go to the other side. It's gonna be Uger here waiting. Everyone will go towards short. Outwork not checking the short. It's gonna be actually here. One more for Crystals. Freaky getting the kill. And Crystals, even before the players do there. It's gonna be Outwork with a great space control and great uh, decision making there. Maltam himself, but that's just part of the plan. It's going to be Emis, the only one left here, the only one, Outwork will die to himself. It's going to be one more round for Chigantan, 15, 12, then 1, 4 round, 8 rounds in a row. That's a lot of rounds. And my neck is hurting, my throat is sore. Let's just see what has happened during these games while the pause is still there get this one we are going to move afterwards in we have the round two round three round four round six now going on we're gonna still have the round seven so be sure to stick around for that one as it could be a blast Let's see how this one goes as the pause is still there. Now we can just wait and talk about the frags. You can see not too many frags actually, like they're so spread out on the side of Chigan Clan. Other side Figly just roaming over everyone. Martexi, come down, come down. Is there a point to put down music for a few seconds to rest my throat? Yes, it is.
layers will be ready so we can go to the 28th round let's see how this one goes deep stereo with the op that is something that they needed to do a long time ago but there is an auto sniper with the op here in the middle Grenades will rain through and deep stereo will now check the damages that he can do outwork already with a kill on emis now the rest one more grenade going away deep stereo this just should be this should be a hard one for Severbia to beat. Rebox underground. Uh, Figly waiting in the apartments. And the SPK peeking out. And now Figly checking the angle. Is gonna get the kill even. I Meaning situation will be 4 on 4. So a lot better than before. Deep Stereo still in the middle with the AWP. Axis will check the middle as well. They're not gonna move into sight. Uh, immediately, uh, some do. There's gonna be a small, small break until they decide to move on forward. But they still haven't decided yet. They're still roaming around middle. One player still waiting uh, near the B apartments. Artwork still looking where it goes. But I think to win the round, they need every single player in the site because Chigan Clan they're just playing crazy. Have to have every player on the site to deny the plants or something now the grenades will come through and axis will go in as rebox rotates malta will come through the push will be stopped for a second but it's gonna be ugers here with the auto sniper and then they're gonna move in a bit of a mistake there by deep stereo as he is the only one here at the moment and the move through, he's gonna get one kill but it's gonna be uger with the answer now from the back lines axis at the wrong time getting out his knife and this is just slaughter. 15-3. Big lead with 29 kills. But that was kind of a miss out there by Suburbia. They needed to wait a bit longer for the rest. As now they're gonna play either for a tie basically or for a win. Let's just hope for the best for your favorite teams. And it's will fall. It means pretty easy start for Chigan Clan. The usual start, basically. And we're just getting grenaded all over the place. And nothing too much happening just yet. Deep Stereo with the scout. Checking the angle of short. And the one player be peeking out. Uyghurs with the kill onto Rebox. And now just the rest. Deep Stereo in pretty bad position. Uh, to play with the scout. Oxys waiting. Lower part. And here from the back lines, gonna be taken down. And from the front lines, Deep Stereo now with the jumping shots. Can connect. And it's going to be it. As Uger take it. And now, will it be 16 14 or will it be 15 15? This is an interesting one. Starts with Uger waiting, he's gonna be Uger in middle. The grenade will be pretty good there. Won't get now. I can see the slow push by Suburbia. There's now the movement forward. Molotovs, deep stereo getting forced back. All the players getting forced back basically. Figly, can he battle this one out with SPK? This should be the battle of the century. No, no one will peek out. I can see kill onto one, which is a big problem for them. They, they, they couldn't give even one person away. It's gonna be Crystals with one more kill, two against five. Can this one happen or really Superbia gonna play Ty? Crystal's baiting out the shot. Gonna be Amos with the headshot, but not with the second Rebox now with the AWP. He's gonna get taken down! And it's going to be 15-15 and just the madhouse in the other room. We're gonna be right back 